Hey, my dog is eating her own ass in the background. Monster, stop. Ugh, she's, it's like ASMR. I hope the mic isn't picking that up. Okay, anyway, I got another episode of Hate Line for you. There is some Nija content, so if you're tired of Nija content, guess what? You're on the wrong fucking YouTube channel. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking stop with this guy, dude. I can't believe it. He, like, keeps one-upping himself. He has, like, no interest in putting the brakes on the cringe train. We're full steam ahead. Okay, this is a, an ad that he did with, uh, with Facebook Messenger. Full screen it. Now we're talking. Dude, thank you to Instagram for making it possible to full screen these Nigel vids. Yo, boys. What's good? Bro, <laughs> I got so body skating at UCI today. No way. Really? Yeah, you guys trying to watch the clips together on the Messenger app? Let's check it. Yeah? Yeah, you guys need this one. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. So hurtful. And got kicked out right after. But you guys know I need that, so I'll be back soon. Dude, you got that for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Holy mother of God, dude. It seems like Nigel genuinely feeds off of being a cringe lord the more into it he gets like the more he starts to, like tilt his head back and like put on that smirk he starts to close up his eyes a little bit and he just ends up doing this you look at him in the beginning kind of normal like he's just on his regular jaw shit look at him at the end he looks so faded yo boys bruh i got so body skating at uci today no way really yeah, you guys need this one. What do you mean by that? All right, here we go. And got kicked out right after. But you guys know I need that, so I'll be back soon. Oh my God, what a video. I just can't like understand if I was on a FaceTime call or God forbid a messenger app video chat with my friends and one of them was acting like Nigel was, like fucking trying to seduce me, I would be like, what are you doing? But it seems like none of his friends are calling him out for his peculiar behavior. Speaking of peculiar behavior by Nigel, I just, <laughs> you guys, you guys have to see this photo. This is the craziest image I've ever <laughs> fucking seen. I guess this is, <laughs> I guess this is a Halloween costume. The caption says pirate jaw, but this, <laughs> this is no pirate that I've ever seen. What the fuck is going on? This is like the laziest attempt at dressing up like a pirate. He, he looks like a metrosexual vampire. I wonder if nigel has been pillaging uh, for some booty lately. I love the pose too, just showing off like every pirate has these wings and his facial expression. He looks fucking confused, man. Oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I can't stop with the Nigel shit. I can't, I'm fucking addicted to it. Bro. I can't stop laughing at that video. <laughs> I need my daily dose of Nigel content. What is, come on, what is this shit, dude? Why would you guys post this? Look at the hovering hand. He looks like Keanu Reeves when he would take photos with like female fans and he wanted to be really respectful. So he'd like leave the hover here and then like Diplo's not even looking at him. What the fuck did you guys post this for? And of course, he's got his monster hat. I genuinely think that he's afraid to take this thing off at this point. Another weird thing I've noticed about Nigel's content now is like, the comments section is completely unmoderated. There's all these like sex worker bots that are commenting. Take me, what, you wanna go to the rail where Nigel ate shit? Love it, can't wait to see what 2021 brings. Nigel, you need some mods in the comment section here, bro. All right, that's that's enough Nija talk. Let's get into some news. Bill Strobeck is starting his own board company called It's Violet. Oh, not that one. Wrong page, wrong page. Hang on, wait, wrong page. Hold up, wrong page. Wait, hang on. Okay, here we go. This is more like it. Not a whole lot to see here just yet. We've got an ad. 
looks pretty cool. Looks very hockey FA derivative. These stickers, these look like some Frankie Villani doodles. I like the Shake Gent stickers that say ass, ass die. Respectable collage work. In other news, Cater was spotted at Stoner Park riding, what trucks are those? Have they not fully rendered? Oh, I see them. There they are. Uh, the Lurpivs. Cater's riding Lurpiv. So, of course, people are speculating now. Cater riding for Lurpiv? Perhaps. Who knows? Um, it could be the case. You know, Cater has been known to ride whatever the fuck he wants, whenever he wants. So, I did check the following page on, uh, Lurpiv's Instagram, and they are following Cater. Damn, these are, these are Cater's shoes? These are sick. Classy. I'm liking the chocolate ones. Adidas, like, shoes are just pretty much texture packs. I was just browsing my TikTok for you page innocently when this video popped up, and I got hit with, like, the gnarliest skateboard TikToker I've ever seen. This guy needs to be put away in a cage with the key thrown somewhere where nobody will ever find it. Welcome to Redland Skate Park, pussy! That kid had a better pirate costume than Nigel did. Okay! Oh man, we just up to Redland Skate Park. I just got a call saying, little baby's here, so we're gonna go challenge him and see if- So this dude, his catchphrase is saying, okay? Okay! And he says, okay, all the time? Okay! And of course, if you have a catchphrase and you're a TikToker, you need to make merch with your own face on it with your catchphrase underneath? Bro, what the fuck? How are you comfortable like walking into a Starbucks with like your own face on it on a t-shirt? See if you can do a trick first try. Let's go. Fuck little baby? Hey, whoa! Okay! Great value, little baby coming in hot. Okay! Yeah, I know you're a rapper Dude, and all, but stop like, saying I okay. Hey, I told you that's what the fuck I do. The comment section in here is is pretty damn good. The kids make me mad, bruh. Little kid make me mad for some reason. The okay is getting old. <laughs> he said your negative comments get. He stuttered in a comment. <laughs> the way you say okay makes me so mad. Okay. <laughs> it seems like the negative comments are starting to get to this dude because he says. The internet nowadays is so sensitive. I want to go back to the early 2000s when people were dope, lol. The early 2000s? You mean when nobody on the internet was funny? I, yeah, you were probably thriving back then. Went to the worst skate park. The cameraman was in the splash zone of this one. This? I, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? 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 Okay. Dude, I mean, you fucking couldn't possibly be more annoying, man. Like, that soundbite is not funny, and you saying okay is not fucking funny either. Put a sock in it, bro. What the fuck is this? Oh what my the fuck god. Is this? My boy, that shit, motherfucking two inches off the ground. Okay. This dude all of a sudden is a size queen. Yo, this part's more depressing than when I lost my hairline. What are we gonna get a motherfucking sesh, man? Okay. I gotta mute this part, but check it out. Do you guys see what I see on the grip tape here? Purple Grizzly grip tape with full send sticker on the top of it. I thought I'd seen the worst of the worst with my grip tape tier list. This guy unlocked a new tier, Grizzly grip full send tier. I'm sweating, sweating, bro. Damn, bro, you getting a little sweaty? You could always, I don't know, take off your sweatshirt and your beanie. Okay. I know this guy's just having fun, but come on, bro. You're a full grown man. Either you gotta find a new profession or you gotta fucking change the game plan here. Posers at skate shops. Be like. Sicker. To be honest, I think I would rather skate a penny board than some shitty reel complete. At least the penny board will actually roll. Okay, yo, man, we just pulled to Bethune Skate Park in Daytona Beach, Florida. I got a whole bunch of uh, full sun gear. Let's go hook. A whole bunch? Define whole bunch. This is looking like 
a little bit of full send gear. In terms of like giveaways, you're kind of half sending this giveaway right now, bro. Welcome to Redland Skate Park, pussy. Welcome to LA, you little pussy. Welcome to San Francisco, pussy. I'm sensing a formula with this guy's videos. I'm not certain about it. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to San Francisco. Oh, Station. Lil Zan! Woo! Okay, we are Redland Skate Park with Josh. This is our park. This is our fucking park, you pussy. What do you think the odds are that kid has seen Pulp Fiction? Not that I'm like even think that that's that crazy of a movie, but I'm not really getting like the type of vibes that this kid is like really a a fan of the cinema. Welcome to LA, you little pussy. Also, you can have the skate park. Believe me, I don't want to go. You guys, it's all yours. I <laughs> I don't think that it's contested territory. Uh, once you guys are there, I'm sure the place more or less clears out. Welcome to Redland Skate Park, pussy! Okay! Yo, that intro does not get old. Neither does the okay! I could listen to both of those for the rest of my life, man. What's up, Josh? What's up, you fucking pussy? What are you doing, bro? Texting these thoughts. What oh. you think? And well, yo, man, it's Friday. I want to see a first try Friday. I want to see a friend side air over the hip. You think you got All that? Right. Fuck, man! I got it right here. Right. I this behavior should not be encouraged like child protective services needs to intervene and block this poor child from being exploited by this full send tiktoker Easy as fuck. I wonder if he's gonna text his thoughts about that early grab ladies you should have seen the early grab at the park I just pulled first tee last couple things. I forgot to toss these in so we're gonna toss them in at the end here um K Kevin Bradley uh, I think his old Instagram got deleted or banned or something, but he's back with a fucking vengeance on his new one, man. I respect it. He's he's not pulling any punches. I guess he saw the new Mark Suchu part and it didn't really please him. <laughs> I hate watching Mark Suchu skate. There, I said it. If you ever claim soda, you probably not getting that shit. And then he, he took a little break here to kind of give us a little update of where he's at what he's doing he's having a little drink and he said mark suchu has the worst style in skateboarding changed my mind pretty fucking funny i will say one thing in in mark's defense because i don't think mark suchu really needs me to defend him but i will say one thing I at least mark's putting out clips um you see a lot of mark skating on the internet he's a prolific professional skateboarder i mean that is his job after all to ride a skateboard at least he's doing what he's paid to do. KB, I mean, I don't see a lot of skating out of you these days. Uh, I see a lot of weed smoking and alcoholic beverage drinking, which is fine, you're an adult. You do what you want, but uh, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of skateboarding from professional skateboarder Kevin Bradley. I just gotta put that out there, dude. I think a lot of us would probably like to see you on the board a little bit more often. There's a post from Yosef Ratliff and his IG account looks like is not up anymore. I just checked again as I'm editing this video and he just got his account back. Last thing we're gonna cover today, be careful with these professional skaters because their accounts are getting hacked. The people who do these hacks post these really weird ass videos that are like pretty poorly executed deep fakes, but I guess well executed enough to actually fool some people into believing that it's true. So let's give this a watch. Thank you, Camilla underscore Williams for turning my 600 to 6,000. At first I was skeptical, but she is actually legit and it works. Thank you. Hey guys, drop your cash app name right now for free 5K right now. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. No personal information will be needed. It's just some like cash app scam as you can see. Yeah, this person online, believe it or not, they want to turn your money into more money instantly uh, for free. It's a really good deal uh, and it's a win-win situation. No, obviously it's a fucking scam. If you notice the video, like how his mouth is like moving uh, at a different rate than the rest of his face, his entire face will just like pause like a robot at certain times. It's like, that's how you can tell this is like clearly fake. Plus the weird ass like, VHS filter on here that I guess is supposed to like make things more casual while also simultaneously attempting to disguise any of the discrepancies with this video. Thank you, Camilla underscore Williams for turning my 600 to 6,000. At first I was skeptical, but she was actually this is legit so weird. And, and all this technology is only gonna get better. So everybody be careful, be safe. 
uh, look out for this kind of shit. Anybody telling, asking you for your cash app on Instagram or some shit and telling you, yo, send money to this person and they will multiply it for you. Don't fucking, nobody's going to do that for you ever. Just don't fucking do it. So anyway, be safe, everybody. That's going to wrap up this episode. Uh, sending my love and my kisses and my appreciation to all of my viewers. Uh, I'm just kidding. Fuck you guys.